used to wonder what it feel like now I know I achieved the goal What's going on guys? So today we're gonna talk about should you study or should you take a break during your winter vacation? Uh, first of all, I apologize for my funny sounding voice. I'm getting over a cold. But yeah, should you study or should you take a break? No matter what level of education you are, I personally recommend relaxing the first few days or first week of your winter vacation. That's because breaks are designed to help you unwind, relax, help you get your mind off studying and, and help you come back more motivated than ever to study hard. So what I personally did was me, Madison, and a couple of friends went to North Lake Tahoe for a trip and if you guys follow me on Instagram you definitely know what happened during that entire trip and a more detailed video of that trip will be my next upload but yeah anyways we went to North Lake Tahoe had a ton of fun and here are some clips of us snowboarding at Diamond Peak So after all that, we had a ton of fun. We came back, we just kind of relaxed and I spent time with my family. And last night we had our family Christmas party. So I'm gonna show you guys a few clips of that right here. Today's Thursday, we're celebrating Christmas with my dad's side of the family. It's a big celebration. My dad has seven brothers and sisters. Huge side of the family, but I'm gonna show you guys kind of our setup for our Christmas party. So this is the house that I grew up in. This is our big Christmas tree that I helped get earlier this year. We're gonna get all of our food set up here. We made this Christmas tree. It's like a uh, mozzarella cheese stuffed Christmas tree. We're making some lumpia over here. Whoa! Some oh, soup. soup. Say hi. And Megan, <laughs> Megan's making some sangria. And look at all the desserts. And then we got ube crinkles, Italian ricotta cookies, magic bars. These are all going in the wonton soup. I thought you were giving me some. Oh no, probably my favorite right here, ube crinkles. We want the <laughs> dual back massage <laughs> for our white elephant. So we had an awesome time, awesome celebration. It's always good to see family that I typically only see once or twice a year. So it's been exactly a week since I started my break, so now I'm feeling nice and rested ready to go and ready to study. If you guys are an undergrad, I highly recommend either looking up your spring semester classes, finding out the books that you need, just making sure you have all the resources you need in order to succeed in those classes. If you are a pre-med student and you are in your sophomore or junior year, you can start studying for the MCAT during your winter break. It all depends on when you plan to take the test. And for studying for the MCAT, I highly recommend using UWorld. That's a great resource that I personally didn't use, but I wish I had available to me. Other than that, you can buy the Kaplan or Princeton Review book. I've made videos on that before, but if you're interested in med school or if you are a med student We only have about a two-week break So last year I didn't study at all over winter break and I really regretted it if you're in your first year Maybe I recommend getting ahead in your next class I think that would really help you out But if you're in your second year like I am then maybe you want to focus more on board studying So what I'm doing for this week is I'm gonna go over all the board material that I personally kind of struggled with Let me show you guys what exactly I'm going to do. So as you guys know, I've talked about boards and beyond before for. Basically what it is, it's kind of like Pathoma, but they go over more than just pathology. And there's all these videos here and they have video quizzes for some of the subjects. What Boards and Beyond does is they reference first aid. So this is like the Bible for step one studying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over like cardiovascular and renal. I felt those were my most difficult topics over the past two years. So I'm going to go over first aid and watch the videos with the corresponding section. And they actually reference first aid when they're going over their videos. So I'll watch a video, find find out the necessary information in here and maybe highlight or take certain notes in the margins here. I've done a little bit of highlighting in the cardio section, but I definitely did not do enough annotating the first time around. So I'm gonna take this break and use it to help me get these subjects down a little bit more. So yeah, my study plan is to basically go over the cardiovascular and renal sections of first aid and boards and beyond this next week. We do have reproduction as our next course. So I've heard it's not extremely difficult and I'm not really gonna take the time to get ahead in that course, but I am gonna take this time 
time to review the spots that I really felt like I was lacking in my education. So that's pretty much it guys. Like I said, I really recommend relaxing the first couple days, the first week of your break and then studying towards the end of your break and getting you ready, getting you back into good study habits for the upcoming semester. Also wanted to shout out my giveaway winners, the grand prize winner who won the $100 alpha gift card, the ghost supplement of your choice and the Onuki headphones is underscore D Snyder. And then the other three winners who just won the headphones are SoCal Superman 89, Kels M. Thomas, and Zach Hickson. You guys all won, so I'm gonna message you guys on Instagram and let you guys know you won. So thank you everyone who supported the 25K giveaway, and I'll definitely be doing more giveaways as the channel continues to grow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick study video. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit about medical education. Also, I know I said this before, but I wanted to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays, and I hope you guys enjoy all the time you get to spend with your family. So comment down below what you guys wanna see next, and I'll see you guys next time.